Hey everyone, welcome back to Piano for the Blind. Hopefully you guys got through lesson two. I know it was a long one, but uh, hopefully you made it through. Today's lesson is lesson three where we will be talking about chords and how they're made up. Um, the different couple different types of chords. Um, the chords that are in the C major scale as well as I will probably teach you the A minor scale at the end, which will not take long at all. But So let's just get into it and explain what chords are. So chords are a group of three or more notes that are played together. So I'm going to play a C major here. That, so it's played like this all together, which is called a block chord, or you can play them um, like this. So like in succession like one after the other. You can play it like that as well. And um, so yeah, so the most basic chord is a triad, which uses three notes. You cannot have a chord that has two notes. So it has to be three or more. And so that's kind of like what a chord is. And um, the triad chord uses three notes. They're all kind of a dis a, like a third apart, which I will teach you what that means in a second. But um, so, for instance, the C major chord uses C. The first note is C, which is the root note. And the root note is basically what makes the chord called a C major, right? It uses a C as the root of the chord. So that is why it's a C major. Then you get to the second note, which is an E. And then the third note is a G. And that makes a G, or that makes a C major chord. And so the second note in the chord here is actually what will help determine whether it's a major or minor chord. And just as I'm sure most people know this, but a major chord is a more happy sounding chord. And a minor chord is a more dark, sad sounding chord. So just as an example, here's C major. So that sounds happy, and then we're going to do C minor. So C major, C minor, and so on and so forth. So that is how that works. And so I'm going to teach you some intervals on um, how to determine whether something is major or minor. And it really comes down to when we're talking about a triad, a three-note chord, it is that second note. The second note determines whether it's major or minor and here is the distance that you can use to just kind of check and it's just going to use whole steps and half steps which i've already taught you and it is a call there are two of them it's a major third and a minor third so just simply put a major third is four half steps or two whole steps and so um that is going to be the distance from the first note to the second so in the case of C major it's a it's a major chord and then you can count it so from C we're gonna go from C to the E and then just count the distance right so one two three four four so there are four whole steps or four four half steps in between the C and the E or two whole steps um, and that will make it and tell you that that is a C major. And what also happens here is um, from the E to the G, there's another interval, which is a minor third. And so that is three half steps. So I'll say it once more. A major third is four half steps. And then a minor third is three half steps. So from the E to the G, that is a minor third. So you just count from E to G. So go to F, F sharp, and G, and that's three. And then that is a minor, a, um, a um, minor third. And so if we come back up here, and I'm going to tell you, so now we figured out, you know, how to tell a C major chord, we're going to just show you, you know, the minor version, right? C minor and so 
as I said, you use a minor third from the first note to the second note, and that's just three half steps. So what we're doing here is so C, E, G is a major, is a uh, C major chord, and then um, all you do is you just move that E down to an E flat. And then it makes it a minor. And then the distance between, like I said, that first note and the second, which is now an E flat, is just three. One, two, three. So then that makes it a minor third. And um, when in case of like a minor chord, the distance between the second note and then the fifth, well, not the fifth, but the third note, the G, it becomes a major third, just for reference. So... Um, yeah, so the third note, by the way, in this chord is, um, uh, well, I'll get into that in a little bit when I explain the rest of the chords for, um, the, uh, the scale of C major. So now I'm going to get into the four, like not all the types of chords, but just four different types. So I've already taught you major and minor. So, you know, C major and then C minor, so, you know, one's more happy and one's more sad. Now, the two other types of chords I'm going to teach you is a diminished chord and a augmented chord, which you're not going to use these as much, but you can play around with them. Um, but for, uh, <laughs> for uh, better results of making stuff sound good, I would stick with major and minor, but you can play around with these, um, but I'm going to teach you them. So we're going to go with a diminished chord first. And so all a diminished chord is, it uses two minor thirds in between each note. And this is still a three note chord here. So for instance, um, and it also a diminished chord is based off of a minor chord. So we're going to go to C minor, which I taught you, which is C, E flat, G. And then all you're going to do is you're going to move that third note down a half step. That's all you're going to do. So that G goes down to the um, uh, to a G flat. And uh, that is it. You just take that third note and move it down a half step. And then that makes a diminished chord. So again, this is a C, C minor which is dark, and then just move that third note down a half step. And then that's the, that's, this would be C diminished. And you know, it's a more tenuous kind of like dark, even darker chord than minor. But yeah, so it's a very neat chord that you can play around with. And then um, the next um, chord I'm going to teach you is the... Uh, is the augmented chord and this is based off of a major chord so we're going to be on c major and it is basically you just take that third note and move it up a half step so you would um take g and move it up to g sharp um yeah and that that's it that's an augmented chord like i said this is the augmented chord is based off of a you know c major chord so just raise that Third, third note up a half step. C, so C major, C augmented. And it's, you know, you can see how it's a more, it's a tenuous chord as well. It has a lot of tension and stuff. So these chords are interesting, but I figured to just throw them at you now just to kind of um, get that out of the way. So now I'm going to teach you the seven chords that are in a C major scale. So I... I did say that there are eight notes in a scale, which it's still kind of true because you go from like C to C and C major, but really there's seven. There's seven notes in a scale. Um, you don't really count going back to the C, like even when it's like higher up. So for now, we'll just go with seven. Um, and then this means there are seven chords in any scale, so whether it's major or minor, there are seven chords, and it's just based off all the notes that are in the C major scale for in this instance. So, as you know, the C major scale is C, D, E, F, G, A, B, 
and we are going to make seven chords in a row with those. And so the first chord, you know already, is a C major. C, E, C, E, G. The next is a D minor. This is the second chord of a, the C major scale. This is the second chord. So that is D, F, A, D minor. Then the third chord in the C major scale is an E minor. E, G, B, E minor. Next is the fourth chord in the C major scale. That is an F major. F, A, C, F major. Then we go to the fifth chord in the C major scale. G major, G, B, D. Now, something important with the fifth chord in major scales, major scales specifically, the fifth chord kind of has tension to it and it wants to resolve back at the first chord of the scale for major scales. So for this instance, we are on G major. So this is G major. And then we're going to go back to C. And it just kind of resolves, right? So that's um, something to be aware of. You don't always have to do this, of course, but it is something to be aware of. It's what a lot of pop music and stuff uses. There is a, um, a chord progression, which is just m multiple chords played in a row, and it's called a chord progression, that is very like one of the most popular ever used that I will teach you, and you'll understand kind of like what I mean by the fifth chord just wants to go back to C. Just and wants to resolve there is tension. So it's, it's just one of those things, like I said, you don't have to use it, but it's something you can and to be aware of. But we're going to finish the scale here. So next is the sixth chord, which is an A minor. So A, C, E. And then we get to the seventh chord. The seventh chord of the C major scale is a B diminished chord. So that is B, D, F. And just as a quick recap, if you, as I said, um, diminished chords are made up of two minor thirds, which again, minor thirds are made up of three half steps. So we can just count it from B. So from B to C, C sharp, D, that's, that's one. That's one um, major third. And then just count the rest of the way to F. So from D to F. So E flat, E, F. Again, another three. So another three half steps. So another minor third. And yeah, so the seventh chord in major scales is a diminished chord. And this, like I said, was B B diminished. So those are the seven chords that are in the C major scale. And so um, real quick, I'm going to teach you a very simple, very popular chord progression. It is called the one, four, five. And as you would guess, it uses the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord of major scales. This is for major scales specifically. And I just taught you the seven different chords. So the first chord is C major, because it is our first chord, our one chord. Then we go to our fourth chord, which is F major. And then the five chord, which is G major. And then you can go back and resolve to the C. So I'll play that again in a row, just so you kind of get how I was talking about how the five chord wants to go back to the, the you know, the first chord. Um, and you can go in both ways if you want, um, just to change it up. So I'm going back down to the one chord. You could go to the higher C 
record if you wanted. So we'll we'll do both of those. So let's see. So just and then so you can just hit it a couple times, just like. And that was, yeah, C to F major to G major. And I'll just go up. Um, now, in most cases, you're going to want to go back down to the one chord but you can just play around with things as you like and you can play around with that chord progression you can even break it up instead of doing block chords you can go and you can break them up like that if you want um, as far as fingering goes for playing chords it's really up to you and what's most comfortable um, the two ways I kind of do it are thumb on the first note. So we're on C major again. So thumb on the first note, index finger on the second note, ring finger on the third note. You could also use your pinky instead of the ring finger. Just one of those two for fingerings. Um, mirror, you can mirror it the same way with your left, left hand, of course. So, um... It'll work the same way. Just whatever is most comfortable for you to play the chords and notes. Um, so, yeah. So, that is um, basically the seven chords of the C major scale. What chords are. Um, four different kinds of chords. Um, hopefully, I explained everything okay. Uh, it's a lot of information for me to just go through um, in my mind. Because I don't have a script or anything like that or anything to read off of. I just kind of think about what I'm going to teach, and then it just kind of comes mostly from the top of my head. So, yeah. But um, I guess we'll... Um, uh, this, this, I feel like this went a little quick, quickly, so I think I can teach you the A minor scale. So, um, and it is the natural A minor scale. In the next lesson, I'm going to teach you two different... Because there's two different kinds of minor scales. Uh, but, so, I'm going to teach you A minor and uh, just a quick little fun thing. I don't know if I've, I've taught this already, but so the C, there is um, with any C, well, with any major chord or scale, there is a relative minor. And what that means is it is just a minor scale or minor chord that uses like the same notes as that major scale or chord. And so they're re like related in that way. And so I'm going to teach you how to find that. Um, just for fun. So we're going to do the C major chord or, you know, scale, either way. And so we're going to be on C. And then you just count back three half steps. So we're on C. And so we're going to go to B, B flat, and A. And that is three half steps. So A, A minor, and A. Just, yeah, an A minor scale or chord is the relative minor to C major. So, and so, um, yeah, and basically they use, they do sound, um, because it is minor, it does have a more, like, darker tone, but these scales and chords use the same notes. For instance, you, I'm about to teach you the A minor natural scale. The C major scale, as you know, doesn't use any sharps and flats, and neither does A minor. So A minor is just A B, C, D, E, F, G, A. So that's that is it. It's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. And then like back to A. And so like I said, it's just exactly like the C major scale, but just, you know, slightly different. It uses the same notes and has a slightly darker sound to it because it's a, a minor. But yeah, so that is um the like A minor scale, A minor natural scale, and how to find the relative minor of a C or of a major scale, which again, you just go back three half steps. Um, and then that'll tell you like, you know, so, um, hopefully this was a pretty short lesson in comparison to 
the uh, previous lesson. But yeah, so that has been chords and just like, you know, what they are and basic stuff like that, the A minor scale. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this lesson and just, you know, play around with these different chords that I taught you. Um, just have fun with it and just experiment. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this lesson. Again, as always, if you have any questions that I can potentially help with, uh, just ask them in the comments below. But that has been it for me, and this has been Lesson 3. I will see you guys in the next lesson.